The woman facing charges tonight after a large number of animals were removed from a local rescue that wasn't fully licensed to care for pets in the state. More than 100 animals were rescued from Empathy Rescue, which was being run out of a home on Baker Avenue. Many of them are suffering from health problems, some of which could be transmitted to humans or other animals. As shelters and rescues across the country are battling with too many animals to take care of, they are looking for any resource possible and sometimes rescues that they find online. Towards the end of last year, we heard about a animal transport coming up. All the animals from the transport were being kept in the, the residence in Colony. We realized we needed to take action in a, a very short time period. My first sight inside the house I saw the deplorable living conditions that these animals were living in. There was crates stacked two to three high throughout the whole house with you know, six, eight, ten kittens, puppies, and, and, and other dogs and cats. There was evidence of animal waste and feces spreading out from inside the crates onto the floors. It became very quickly apparent that there were more animals in the home than even we expected. When we were going through to do our triage, I found a young puppy in a crate in an upstairs bedroom. Very small, wasn't moving, didn't appear to be breathing. We thought this puppy was deceased when we first found it. Then we noticed that it took a breath. One of the colony animal control officers was fantastic and brought him to the emergency vet right then and there. Andrew and his staff were unbelievable. They, they immediately, once we got in, secured the scene, started processing it and tending to these animals in need and getting them out as quick as we could in a orderly and calculated fashion so that they could document them meticulously for the case. Overall, we seized 102 animals from the residence. The day following the execution of the search warrant, the vet team began the process of evaluating all the animals seized and drawing up treatment plans, beginning the, the long process of bringing them all back to health. So this was a situation where there were far too many animals in a small area, so we did see uh, things like GI parasites, parasites on the skin, uh, things that can be contagious to people, so things like ringworm, giardia. A lot of these animals did require some length of treatment, so proper nutrition, deworming, antibiotics, antifungals for what would typically be a, a longer course of time than an, an average animal coming in. So it did take quite a bit of, of care to get them to a healthy state. This case really brings to light what an asset this organization is, not only to the Colony Police Department, but to the Capital Region as well. We had more than 100 people reach out to us who either were fostering or had recently adopted from Empathy who had concerns about their animals. We provided low-cost spay and neuter to them, vaccinations, and medications so that we could get them healthy as well. This was an enormous task to undertake, but nothing stands in the way of our incredible team. Between our humane law enforcement officers, our veterinary team, all of our staff, our volunteers, and of course, our community.